2011 was the year six Kenyans appeared before the pre-trial chamber of the International Criminal Court at The Hague to determine whether they should face charges of crimes against humanity arising out of the violence associated with the December 2007 general election. Three of them, former Agriculture Minister William Ruto, former Industrialization Minister Henry Kosgei, and CAS radio journalist Joshua Arap Sang made their initial appearance at The Hague on April 8th. They were followed a few days later by Deputy Prime Minister Uhuru Kenyatta, Head of the Civil Service Francis Mudhaura, and former Police Commissioner Hussein Ali. The six appeared before the ICC after the United Nations Security Council had rejected the Kenya government's bid, conducted mainly through an international diplomatic shuttle, led by Vice President Kalonzo Musyoka, for the deferral of ICC proceedings against the suspects. At the hearings, ICC Chief Prosecutor Louis Moreno Ocampo charged that the six suspects were the masterminds behind the wave of post-election violence that left more than 1,000 Kenyans dead and more than half a million homeless, charges which all six Kenyans denied. 2011 was also the year President Mwai Kibaki surprised many Kenyans when in January he nominated Justice Al Nasir Magan Visram to replace retiring Chief Justice Evans Kisheru. University of Nairobi professor Gidu Mwigai to take over from Attorney General Amos Wako. Prime Minister Raila Odinga objected to the appointments, claiming that he had not been consulted. Kibaki's action was also opposed by Justice Minister Mutula Kilonzo, as well as by the Judicial Service Commission and the Commission for the Implementation of the Constitution, who declared that Kibaki had subverted the Constitution when he made unilateral nominations. In February, the High Court would declare Kibaki's judicial appointments unconstitutional, after a woman's organization under the so-called G10 movement had lodged an objection with the court. The High Court ruling forced Kibaki to go into consultations with Odinga, which would later be followed by public vetting of nominees for different judicial posts. The process ultimately ended with the appointment of Willy Mutunga as Chief Justice, Nancy Barasa as his deputy, Gidu Mwigai as Attorney General, and Keraiko Tobiko as Director of Public Prosecutions. In August, Kenya's first ever Supreme Court would be fully constituted after the swearing-in at State House Nairobi of Justices Jackton Ojuang, Philip Tunoy, Ibrahim Mohammed, Smokin Wanjala, and Joki Ndungu. Also arising from agreement between the President and the Prime Minister were the appointments of new military personnel. General Julius Waweru Karangi became Chief of the Kenya Defence Forces, replacing General Jeremiah Kianga. Lieutenant General John Kasaon became the new Kenya Army Commander. General Jeff Otieno, the new Air Force Commander. And Major General Ngewa Mokala, the new Navy Commander. On the political front, 2011 saw Raila Odinga force out of the Grand Coalition government a number of leaders from his Orange Democratic Movement who had been in opposition to him for more than two years. In a mini-reshuffle, Odinga dropped suspended higher education minister William Ruto, East African Community Minister Helen Sambili, and Assistant Livestock Minister Aden Duale from his side of the coalition government. In sports, 2011 was the year Emmanuel Mutai set the world record for the men's marathon in London with a time of 2 hours, 4 minutes and 40 seconds, while Mary Kay Tanyi won the women's race at the same venue. Jeffrey Mutai won the New York and the Boston men's marathons. In 2011, Kenyans said farewell to renowned conservationist and 2004 Nobel Peace Prize winner Wangari Maathai 
and veteran freedom fighter Wamboi Otieno.